guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ottomans, where we are not going to become the sick men of Europe. Anyways, we are starting today's episode with a kind of cool war going on between us and Egypt. Uh, it's really going to be finished in a couple days. I just have to kind of deal with... Uh, well, it should be finished by like two or three years. It's just I have to really deal with a lot of stuff. And the British are dealing with a lot of stuff. And I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. It's just a lot of stuff we're dealing with. There's a lot of things on our mind. So let's just say that. There's a lot of things on our mind. But anyways, once these guys are all done being captured, a lot of it's going to become really easy to like do, I guess. I guess. Well, once once the uh, Egypt's... Egyptian becomes conquered and the 2.39 population becomes ours we should we should and I mean we should this is a should have a stable economy enough to the point where we can start like taxing our people to the utmost and doing whatever we need to to survive and now they are out of our sphere of influence I really don't care I never really cared about Serbia so them being out of our sphere of influence has absolutely no effect on me and finally we built some ammunition factories thank goodness like, seriously, this is what I was waiting for. Oh, we don't have any money right now. Dang it, why did you not do that beforehand? I was gonna start building my ammunition and my... My ammunition and my, like, guns factory so we could start inputting and outputting guns for ourselves. This would be nice. It would be really nice to start inputting and outputting guns. Now we got 50% more research speed, which is nice. Colonial migration, keep working on educational stuff. So we really have to get that started. And keep that started, I should say. And in terms of factories, we really gotta get more people. <laughs> That's also another given. We also need more people, but for that, I can't really help for right now. Alright, we now finished up all the conquests. Egypt is definitely being brought back. It's definitely being defeated, I should say. So let me just keep moving in. Now, we might finish this by 1845, now that I'm thinking about it. This might take a little bit longer than I'm expecting, and... While since this might take a little bit longer than I'm expecting, let's see, is there any other people we can start befriending to become our... Too many great allies. You guys are still great allies, so probably not you. We should probably start thinking about who we're going to befriend in this. Hmm. Uh, Netherlands, you guys don't really want to. Well, we also need to also make sure that Russia does not hate us. Because if Russia hates us, as I said before, it will cause difficulties a lot. So, yeah. Let's see. We're moving into the... Basically, the... Then moving into the Egyptian part, we're moving into the Egyptian like colonies, which actually should become states immediately when we conquer them, which will be nice. And with the low population, it makes them really easy to conquer. Oh gosh, it makes these regions really easy to conquer. I'm so glad to. I'm so glad it makes my life so much easier. All right, let's see. Egypt's probably not gonna give up until like they have full and other until we have full and other control over them, right? That's what I'm guessing. They will accept this offer. No. No, what? Oh, yeah. The British now control me because I'm not the biggest. I have one of the weakest armies in the world right now. In fact, it is 119 big. That's literally some, a lot of little uncolonized regions. No, not colonized. Uncivilized regions are much bigger than I am, which kind of makes me feel embarrassed just a little bit. But considering I have literally not much to go for. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm racking up a, okay. Screw it. We need to get more money. We can't be that poor at the beginning of the game. So start. let's start turning our money woes around. Seriously. We cannot be this poor. Especially at the beginning of the game. We now can start building artillery factories, which are good. So now we have basically all the factories we need. We just need to have a free moment to actually build these factories. Okay, we got this place underneath our control. And let's see. We're slowly starting to move down. I'm pretty sure this is a different region besides this. Yes. Okay, we can also start moving over here, too. I really want to. Alright, cars. Let's start moving it right there. Establish some bureaucrats and just move down. We're just going to keep moving down into all this land to keep it all, like, nice and happy. Or I should say keep it all, like, nice and under control happy. If that's even a word. Although, in industry, guys, we are, like, 14th. That somewhat amazes me. I mean, we literally only have, like, that many factories, and we're already 14th. Although most of our factories are probably going to crumble because we're taxing them like a crazy madman. But at least they're not collapsing right now, so, eh, it's good, I guess, for right now. Okay, we've got almost everything underneath our control. We're moving quite rapidly down. Uh, no, I don't care what you guys want. 
You guys are my vassal. You guys obey me, and that's it. Mm hmm. Yeah, they obey me. Okay. Let's see. We got enough money. Do we pay back all of our debts? Almost. There we go. Now we have enough money. Boom. There we go. Out of debt. Okay. Makes me much happier. Now that we're out of debt, that makes me much happier. Because I definitely don't want to get in debt in this game. Definitely don't want to get in debt. Debt is a very bad thing in this game. Debt, very, very bad thing in this game. We're almost done. British almost got all that conquered. Let's see. You guys almost ready to give up? No, you guys are seeming like you guys want to continue this for a little bit. So, yeah, and I can't really offer you guys peace. So we just got to wait till the British basically negotiate on our behalf to give us what we want. Okay, we're almost done over here, so just dock up right there. This will all become my land here soon enough, and then finally we'll be united front, which will be insanely nice. Once we're united, we can definitely like control everywhere. We can go from here to there to there to there to there to there to there to there. And I can actually start dividing up my armies to figure out where I want them, where where should they be, and where everything is all nice and perfect and lovely. Okay, first we have to conquer all this though. Okay, it seems like a lot of my farmers have died, so I'm just going to delete them. Give it a second, demobilize. Mobilize again, because all my farmers are now dead. So let's just remobilize, demobilize, remobilize. That's the only way you guys can keep up your farming population. If you guys must know, that's a really cool way to keep up your farming population. It keeps everything really happy in your empire. So now they're all going to remake each other right over here. And I think the next nation I'm probably going to free, if I do need it, is probably Cyprus, because I really... If I must be honest with you, I'm really not going to care about this island at all, and it really doesn't have any strategic resources that I really do care about, so... Yeah, I'm probably going to free this island. <laughs> it really... Yeah, that's that's where I'm at with that. And let's see, we got a little bit more men now. Let's see, how much more will we have? Probably about the same amount, 30 men. Which is good. Oh, we might... Oh, we actually have a little bit more. I think. I believe. No, we have about the same. Dang it. Okay. And now these guys are all going to move down there. The British are finally sowing less troops. Which is... Making me worry that maybe they're at war with someone. No. They're just sending less troops because... They just send less troops. Okay, we have... A lot more troops than we did the first time we... We like, expanded. So this is kind of awesome. This is kind of awesome, man. This is also kind of awesome looking at all this, like, slowly conquest of all this. Just slow moving into everywhere. Oh, man. And this also should, just because it's right next to here, it should start to, like, feel, oh, man. Okay, and then you guys combine. We now have a 40 unit. That's way more. We have a 41 unit. That's way more than what we had before. Okay, let's go send them down. To go help, actually, let's go send them down to go help these guys just so that they finish up. And let's see, is Britain gonna help us out or are they retreating? Okay, there they go. They're coming back. Good, good job, Britain. You guys are coming back. They're good. Cause these guys, I mean, I already proclaimed that these guys had, they were coming for us. Well, actually, wait, no, I didn't. That was the Persians. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's see. <laughs> that one troop that doesn't know what to do because he's like. An exiled army, but yet he's not an exiled army. Such a confusing concept. Okay. And let's see. Well, we're getting our 36 deathbed men. Let's go divide our men up. Go send half our men to go down there. Just so that we don't, like, destroy our armies. At least yet. I don't want to destroy our armies just yet. Okay, that should speed up this process. Yes. Speed it up so much. Yes. Once this army finishes it, then we should be able to just move mosey on down over here this year I'm hoping I'll be able to finish the man concession with Bakura uh, the Netherlands want an alliance what could I use the Netherlands as cuz I'm honestly quite stumped what could I use the Netherlands as hmm I don't really need the Netherlands for anything right now but, uh, I guess they're just a good ally to have I guess I mean, I guess you don't really necessarily need them, but they're not bad not to have. I guess that's the same. They're not bad to have. Explosive victory! Okay, let's just keep moving down. Let's see. You guys are almost about ready to give up. Educational system is improving in my land. We're now getting functionalism. Yeah, we just need to make sure we clip down this a little bit. 
And after that, I'm probably going to work on the military. But lazy natives need to learn how to adapt to our culture. Especially for how diverse our culture is, they really need to learn how to adapt. Because I really don't have enough time to, like, put in all these different languages into my empire. Seriously, that would take way too long. Move focus. Let's see, that's still 100%. Moving on down the Moles Bowl. Let's start encouraging bureaucrats. Oh, man, this is going to be beautiful. And then we're going to add all this land, too. It's so cool. Okay. And then, yeah, now we're moving down at a pretty rapid rate. All right, everyone's moving to this one province. Okay, we're all just going to massive siege this province. There we go. Massive siege, everyone. Massive siege. We're going to siege. Okay, it seems like we're doing pretty good right now with money, so I'm just going to try to decrease our money woes to at least under 10%. I can keep it 9%. I just need under 10%. That way our economy is somewhat glow growing at this time. I mean, it's not probably insanely growing at this time because, let's face it, taxing that much really does hurt you. But it's somewhat growing. And once I'm done deploying everything, my land is going to be so big. Like, we still, at the very least, we're going to have one of the biggest empires out there. So we're going to have all of this and all the way over this to all the way over this. I mean, just land-wise, we have, we own the Middle East. Once we get... Egypt on our control, we own the Middle East. Which is going to be nice. It's going to be really nice. Now, these guys are almost done with what they need. We have more than what we need to like get the land we need. These guys are not going to surrender until, like, uh, rock me in our cradle. It's giving more prestige. Especially for the early game. Prestige is, like, really important. Okay. Wow. Almost all the Wajinian men have died. That's kind of sad, especially for like the early game. That's kind of sad, but it's expected. I should say it's expected that a lot of men are going to die in this. That's why you should probably use more uh, uh, spawn troops than uh, non-spawn troops because if you use spawn troops, they're going to die. They're going to die, and we're almost there. <sighs> probably at the very most, it should take one more year before these guys are completely underneath our grasp. But they, the Egypt is about to become back underneath our control. It is no doubt in my mind that Egypt is about to be coming back underneath my control. I own Egypt. Okay, let me combine all these guys into one mess. Actually, I'll wait until they actually go right over here. Okay, wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it. Oh, and, and apparently the liberals are starting to take power. Not necessarily the last thing ever because they're going to give me back the laissez-faire government. Which I don't really like much. And let's see. You about ready to give up yet, Egypt? We have enough. Just saying, we we have enough. I would love to. Yes, yes. Oh, blast. Yes, though. Look at this, guys. Now we have basically all this land underneath our control, plus a little bit of India, which I didn't really expect to get. But we do have a little bit of India, and this is awesome. Like, look at this. Now we have enough land and probably enough money to keep us busy for a little bit. I'm assuming, at least. Alright, we probably need to... Hmm. We need to fix this money woes. Like, seriously. Let's see. Let's also tax a little bit. Hmm. Maybe just give it a little bit. Maybe our economy needs to be fresh. Also, over here in Molzenbo... Let's see, where's the region right here? Molzenbo. We're gonna start our... We're gonna start our ammunition factory. And our gun factory. That way we can start building gum. We also need... Gum. Not gum. Guns. Alright, we also need to start figuring out where our steel factory is. I think this is probably the best place for our steel factory. Uh, steel factory. Yes, it generally needs iron and steel. I completely forgot about the iron. Shoot. Okay, so let's see. Where's our iron resources? I believe they actually don't have a, an actual province just for iron. So, uh, this is probably the best place if this is all one region. Yeah, this is probably the best place, but I'm pretty sure there's something else built here. Uh, what region is this? Dajin Van? Actually, I think this is the first time I'm going to build something here. So let's see, build a steel factory. Yes! First time! And there we go. We're having a decent sized uh, stuff building. Let's demobilize. There we go. Our economy should start rocketing. Because we're not at war. And we're just literally relaxing. We're not declaring war. We're not doing anything. It's literally just us relaxing. And with all of our economy... Well, projected balance not exactly great right now, but for the rest of it, it's pretty well established, and we are building really quite rapidly fast. 
across all of our land. That way we can start getting people wanting to, uh, because as you can see, this is one of our first factories. The only start of people getting into it, which is what we kind of need. Okay. And let's see. Newspaper-wise, we have anything of note? Uh, Spain fears our might. What? What? Spain, you fear me? Wait, wait. Spain, you fear me. I mean, uh, I would be pretty scared of an Ottoman Empire this big, too. I'm basically like, I'm basically like the, uh... Obviously, Caliphate of the olden days, but seriously, do you really fear me? Because I'm not really that scary. Like, I may have lots of land, but I have, like, absolutely no troops. <laughs> I mean, literally, I have absolutely no troops. I'm basically surviving right now because of the goodwill of my people. Okay, in fact, let's fix that right now before I start talking smack. Okay, you guys combine. That's gonna be a really... Eh. It's gonna be an iffy-ish army. Actually, build one more troop. There we go. That should be a decent sized army right there. There, we will have protection in our numbers. Hopefully, I should say. And now we have to start thinking about what the next nation is we are going to declare war on. Hmm. I don't think we can declare war on Greece because Greece is already an ally of our good friends, the, uh, the, uh, British. British? But we do have to find out where some other good people we can conquer is. Um... Portugal or Spain? You know, actually, the country... Oh, dang. We probably have to wait for a, uh, a war, but I believe the next country we should go after is actually France. That way, not only will the UK take out one of their biggest rivals, but we'll take out one of our biggest rivals, too, and get an insane amount of land. But we're going to have to wait just a little bit on that because, well, it's France and it's... Yeah, I mean, there's not really much else to say except it's going to be a long, long, long debate period. We also could also go after the Germans right now. But I would kind of, I would kind of wait until the Germans are actually already formed, so that makes it much easier for us. Like, seriously, a lot easier for us. But yeah, there's so many possibilities right now with our world conquest spree. Seriously, so many possibilities. Hey, you three, seven, seven men, go get jobs. I mean, seriously, it's not that hard to get jobs in my country. I literally have factories up the wazoo. You guys can go get jobs. Okay? Seriously. Gosh. Um, we could also, I guess we could also go after Austria now, but the problem with going after Austria at this point is the fact that 1. A. I'm not strong enough to fight them. B. I probably would have to rely completely on the, uh, uh, British army and the British will probably be very finicky about helping me so I guess you know France is probably a good place to start France is probably a very good country to start as because I'll probably have just the British go fight it all for me maybe fight a little bit in Africa just a little bit not very much though just a little bit because if I fight too much I may exhaust myself so yeah oh and upper house of range good we also have another little bureaucrats finished up Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. This is all good. Remove focus. Let's see if we move down here. Get some more focus right here. And let's see. We're slowly starting to build it up. <laughs> and after this, as soon as I gain control of all this area, or as much area as it will let me control, then I'll start moving down here and start, like, conquesting everything. Send an expedition! We will send an expedition. And the beliefs must be respected, I guess. I guess. I guess so. Oh, bitter rain. Diverted to the farms. Uh, the rain will fall sooner or later. Diverted to local farms. Oh my goodness. This is, this is gonna be terrible. We should best save every... Should the situation persist. Yeah. Let's use that. That's gonna make me very militancy. Very militant pro-friendly. But like, that sounds like something I would do. Okay. We do we do not have any can... No, we do have our cans moving up. Just take it a little bit. They must be made over here. That's the reason why the cans are taking so long. And let's see. Anything else I need to do before I need to wrap up this episode? Well, I can't really build many troops right now. But we have... I say we've already expanded a good amount. We've already, like, took over all of Egypt. And we took over all of Persia. And a little bit of the... A little bit of India. Not really intentionally, though. They were just kind of there. And we took them while they were... I guess, away on a trip, on a business trip, I guess. Oh, wait, does Britain have any more troops anywhere else in the lands? Like, seriously. 
Well, I know you guys do have some troops. We could actually, we might be able to use this to our advantage. Having, uh, yep, everyone. Well, thank you guys for watching. This has been the first three episodes of our popular demand, not popular demand map, Sir Mod of the Ottoman Empire. This has been fun. I'm glad you guys got to see America expansionism already. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.